Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Rise Up, Be Me. Rise Up is a new way of looking at life because I think this is what we all need to do. I think we all need to rise up one way or another. There's a lot of rising up that's going on and it's called the awakening, the calling. Many of you across the globe are starting to realise that not all is as it seems. I realised this many years ago, all the way back to 1998, that is when my beginning started, when the transformation started to happen. And so therefore, there was never any information back then about what was happening. YouTube didn't exist. I think internet basically had started. So trying to find the information of what was happening was impossible, which then led me to understand the message and the spirit that was in me that carried a message and I also believe that that message exists within everyone. This is a universal message because the soul for me is a sign of universal language. It is a language. The soul has its own language. The human also has its own language but the human language doesn't work because it's called entrapment and it's called slavery. Throughout centuries now, we, the people, have been looking to free ourselves from the system and there's been many riots over the centuries of trying to regain back our power. Beamism is exactly that. It's about regaining back your power because we have given it away. We've complied to the rules and you haven't checked in to see what is true and what isn't true. We just take it on face value and we just go along with the story. And so therefore, we, the people, will always be enslaved. But now this is our time to sort of awaken because what is going on is the darkness of up the game. And so therefore, they know that the awakening is taking place. So if you feel that you are here to deliver a message, what is that message all about? Many of you are getting a little bit confused on the instructions that you're being given and you think it's way over there. But how about the way over there really is your true story? What if you are into the angels? What, are, what if you are interested in the Pladians or the Arcturians, whatever be the case, or where you believe you've come from. Many of you believe that you don't fit here, and so rightfully so, you kind of almost don't, but you are here, and so therefore we're trying to fit in, but we're also trying to fit out. Once you start to understand that the darkness is controlling everything, do not be infected by that. Because what's happening is, is as the light beings rise up, you start to see the darkness. That is also a trap. And by the way, everyone getting back their freedom and going back out into the world, I'm telling you now, it's a trap and they're going to close you down. So be very careful and how this happens because they've got an agenda. We don't. They work way ahead of us. We work from week to week, month to month. They work for the whole entirety of the future, and that's different. They are in control, they have stolen, they have hijacked who we are as beings, and they have kept that knowledge away from us. So the best I can do is to bring the message of Be Me, which is basically it's all about being you, isn't it? The meaning and purpose to life is definitely always about being you. So what we're going to do with the awakening, long as you awaken up to yourself, and the best way is to recognize what's going on within the darkness, but not to get consumed by the darkness. It's all too easy. And so therefore, we get trapped. My idea is to move away from it, almost turn your back away from it, but know that it exists, but still carry on 
doing your message, still carry on writing that book, still carry on trying to believe the instructions or the roadmap or your own philosophy to life. I bring a new philosophy. You can call it a spiritual philosophy. You can call it plain and simple, the true identity of who we are as a race of beings. Over the centuries, we've had many identities that explain who we are, but as you know, none of them truly work. Bringing in the Bimi, it's all about your gift. It's all about your senses. It's all about potential. It's all about evolution. Evolving from the programming, which is something that they do not want you to do. They want to keep you trapped in the system so that you can be controlled. We're heading for a really bad time and this is the beginning. They are trying to control everyone and so far they've done pretty good. But this is the time, this is the era, we are the change and we can try and make that change happen. So don't give in whatever you do. I'm not giving in, I'm trying to do the best that I can to keep going with the message and believing in the message and to realise that it is actually important whereas in the beginning of my journey I thought it wasn't important I thought who would need it who would listen to me sound familiar with your own thoughts yes of course it does if you've been in the darkness of whatever you've been in you can come from abusive relationships you can now have a relationship or even your own family but it's not abusive that is spiritual transformation you can come from a family of violence, but you have not carried on that violence within your own family. That is also spiritual transformation. You can come from a family of no love, but now you are finding yourself to be a loving being. That is also spiritual transformation. That's all you need to do. I've heard many people turn around and say that they want to teach love. But once I listen to their story of coming from a drug or abuse or whatever it was within their story and they are not it now, that is the transformation that you speak about. That means it is true to you. But if you step outside that box and try to believe in something else that has not been your story, then it will always seem like it's a lie and that's how I can talk fluently about what I speak about because it's been part of my journey it's not something that I've read it's not something that I've looked up it's something that has led me to believe and to get me introduced into what is my message all about and of course we need this message right now beamy beings are the awakened beings so understanding your emotions, understanding your ego, understanding the mind, it's about mastery, mastering body-mind energy. Once you become the master of your body-mind energy, you become sovereign, and anything that is going on on the outside world serves you no purpose whatsoever. It's almost laughable. But I'm open that more and more people are starting to awaken to the fact that life is a con. And it's as simple as that. We have literally been conned. We have been conned out of our own birthright to actually feel what it means to feel free. Now, look at the word freedom. If you had ultimate freedom, what would you do with it? If you had an ultimate message from spirit, what would you also do with that? So you have to ask yourself this. Why are you going through depression? And why are you denying your soulful right to bring to the table your message? Why? Why are you holding back? Why is the biggest question. Because why we've been asking since the age of three years old. I can still ask that question of why. I can turn around and say, well, why am I doing beamism? Why do I put myself through this? Why have I spent so much money and time buying the equipment, learning the equipment? Why am I doing that? And the reason why I do that is because it's a drive. It's a drive within me that just won't stop. 
Every now and again, I might take a step back. I need to reanalyze. I need to rethink. But most importantly, I need to connect back in with my own source energy, which puts me back on track again. Before the pandemic, I didn't know what healing was all about. I didn't know what beamism was all about. I just thought it was about healing the body, mind and energy. But that was a personal journey. But now it's become a worldwide journey. And so therefore, putting this information out is to get people to understand that whoever you are, whatever title that you're giving yourself, remember this, in the eyes of spirit, you're always a beamy being because the spirit has no identity. If you've listened to many people that have died and they've gone over onto the other side and they've come back near death experience, let's put it that way, they all seem to have the same message. But when they do come back, they come back a completely different being. And what is it that they come back as? More loving, more appreciative more understanding of who people are. Because once you get into that world of spirit, you get a panoramic view of everything and everyone. You will start to understand that what you have said, what you have done is completely wrong. And it's no fault of your own. It was an unconsciously led journey that enabled you to do whatever. But when you really start to understand the beamy, yes, you will go through a lot of guilt. Yes, you can go through a lot of anguish within yourself and become very frustrated and angry on the way people have either treated you or the way that you have treated them. Coming back from a near death or coming back from understanding what true spirituality is all about, which means when you leave this physical five sense realm, you will become a spirit yourself. Some of you know this 100%. Some of you have an inclination. Some of you, if not most of people out there, they have no idea that there is something beyond this. We look at life and we'll say it's pointless. Yes, the human side of it is totally pointless. I can agree. I went through exactly the same. It was pointless. But there was always something inside of me that turned around and said, there's more to life than this. That to me was the key to opening up the soul. That was the partnership that I needed to work with. When the two become one, when the soul and the human become one, which means you can tread both pathways. I hear many people talk about, I feel like I've got one foot in this world and I've got a foot in another world. And I say, great absolutely perfect now all you've got to decide is what two feet do you want to put into what world for me it was switching it kept bouncing backwards and forwards backwards and forwards is it spiritual is it material am i this am i that and after a time i started to understand that this balance started to slow down and then all of a sudden it switched into being completely spiritual, which meant I know I'm going to die. So that means I'm very careful in what I say. I'm very careful who I meet. I'm very careful what relationships I start to get into. I understand all of it because here's the key. I want to get into that spirit world and turn around and say that I wasn't the person that I used to be. That is your spiritual transformation. That is going to be the only way you will feel rested in your spiritual self. Many people in near-death experiences will always turn around and say, I don't want to go or I didn't want to go back to the body because it was so painful. What they'd realized was that all emotional pains are kept within the suit of the human being. The emotions are the trapped. But what if you can die to the human being now, obtain your spirituality now, and be free from pain? And that is what you call healing. And that is beamy mastery of understanding what it means to be in your spiritual self. Some of us go up, 
Sometimes you go down, up in the higher self, back down in the lower self. Know the difference and say to yourself, today I'm in my higher self, or the following day you may say, I'm in my lower self. That's like being in two different worlds. And that's where people can get confused, see? What world do I live in? How do I think? How do I feel? What is life all about? What's the point of it all? Understanding this balance between the two, even just on this level of existence, because if you can become pain-free, because emotions is a crippler, the emotions can connect to your immune system, which makes you sick. This is why you can go to the doctors and they cannot find nothing wrong with you. But you know that you're suffering a lot of pain. That's the lower self. Some days you'll feel good about yourself and things will feel just brilliant. That's your higher self. Learn to let go of the lower self and learn patiently. Process forward evolve slowly but surely but don't get disappointed when you fall back down into your lower self that in actual fact is quite good because what it is telling you that there's still something there that you need to understand because when we do walk away from the programming we want to walk away from it for good it's like a bad relationship you walk away you come back you walk away you come back why it's because it's unfinished business and you can't walk away in that fear, you can't walk away in that anger. But if you can walk away because you 100% have agreed with yourself that now is the time to do that and there is no coming back, then you walk away. I did that with life as a human being. It took me time to understand what I was walking away from. And that moment that I understood that I was walking away from that programming, I walked away and I stayed away and there the work begun. That's when the strength of the message of body, mind, energy, healing started to take place because now I'm not being distracted by the human programming. And if you can just understand that balance and you know it because you can feel it, you bounce backwards and forwards, right? Okay, and then boom, all of a sudden you're in your spiritual self. And that means the human side of you has taken a back seat. And so therefore, you're now living to the pathway of your soul, which is the true level of consciousness that you should have been in the first place. My name is Trevor Owsley. I'll see you on the other side. Take care.